Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. Let's talk about trading overconfidence and how it really will kill your results. It will kill your ambitions in a very cruel way because the way it works is it actually makes sense for you to act the way you're acting. So nobody is calling anybody stupid for acting this way because again, it does make sense. It's a logical thought process to have. However, that is why the markets are so tricky. That is why trading as a whole and finding success is a challenge because the human mind and what seems to be logical isn't actually the way, isn't actually the path that you should be taking. And to use the backbone for this, I wanna use marijuana stocks because that way it allows me to kill the theory. So there's no theory here. It's not me talking in hypotheticals. This is something that's actually happened and it illustrates perfectly how this overconfidence starts to creep its way in, how it's formed, and then how it can really just destroy you as a trader if you're trying to find success. And this pertains not necessarily just new traders who are beginners to the stock market or any market, but even just veteran traders. It's always a good reminder to have and understand. Now to offer a little context here, so that, you know, again, you can see that there is no theory. A while ago, I did this video and in fact did it on February 22nd. So it's been literally as of the recording of this video, several, several months. And I offered up a warning regarding a few of these marijuana stocks. And at the end of the day, as a, you know, kind of a little nutshell, I just said, hey, all I'm saying is I get it. A lot of you have seen success. I get it. A lot of you are making money. But just consider the fact that there is a bubble right now taking place. And that as of right now, not much skill has been required to make money. You know, there hasn't been a huge need for an actual strategy. And just consider that maybe the reason why you're making money, maybe the reason why you've made money is because of the bubble. And when bubbles occur, no skill is required because everybody's making money because things just keep getting higher and higher. That was the, the premise is just, hey, offering up a warning that maybe, just maybe, your profits have come from luck and not skill. And I don't say this in a I told you so type of way, but I say it in a I've, I've, I've seen many bubbles and not just within the stock market. You think back to the whole real estate bubble and how everybody made money as a quote unquote real estate investor back then when in all actuality, no, it's just because the market was in some big bubble and it kept going bigger and bigger. And that was the, the general idea of what I was talking about here. And then right here behind the scenes on YouTube, they always show you what sort of likes and dislikes you're getting. And here had 69.3% uh, likes, which is really bad actually. In fact, I'm pretty sure this is the worst video I've ever done. My average is 95% uh, likes. So literally 25% below what the average is. That's crazy. I mean, this is quite literally the worst video I'm aware of that I've ever done. And of course it was all so much of, hey, Clay, you're a hater. Hey, you're, Clay, you're jealous. There's so much more coming. You know, there, there's more to come. You're just coming across as bitter. You're coming across as trying to be negative, as a naysayer. W what do you mean that I'm just getting lucky? What do you mean that there's no skill involved? And majority, not the majority, but a lot, especially if you go to that video and read through the comment section, I mean, I'm just being told that I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm a hater. I'm being jealous. And again, I, I understand. I'm not mad about it. And I see where they're coming from because, yeah, if you're having success and then somebody's coming and saying, well, I mean, could you consider at least a possibility that your success is being is, is based right now on luck and not actual skill? I can see how that would, pff, what a, you can't, no, no, you're just being negative. So that is right there. That is the background. This is not me talking in theory. This is something that has played out. And like I said, given it happened back in February, we've had almost an entire year to see how this all has played out. So let's see if, uh, you know, any, if I was barking up the right tree or if I was just being a hater and just trying to be negative or if I was actually giving some real life advice from, well, past experience. So here we have one of the marijuana stocks, ACB, and this truly is the evolution of overconfidence. So let's quickly think about what was going on here. So in October of 2017, this thing was down around $2.25, then went up as high as $12. That's a 433% percent move but this is where things get pretty rough things go down to four dollars and the pretty rough part is not that it dropped 66.7 percent this is the truly rough part right here then it went back up to twelve dollars for a move of 200 percent so think about it something drops 66.7 percent 
and then goes up to $12. That is crazy. And those sorts of movements build false confidence because think about all the bad habits you could have and then all of a sudden the price goes up 200% back up to $12. Once again, I, I can see how people would be overconfident. Well, yeah, it'll go back up. Then it dropped back down to $5. That's a 58.3% move. And then once again, is now, or at the time of the video, was back up 55%. And that was February 2019, like I said, when I offered that warning video. Because I see how this is going, and I thought, you know what? I better offer a warning, because I know a lot of people have made money. And I know a lot of people have sat through some really tough times. I mean, from $12 to $4, you know people are holding and buying more, holding and buying more. And sure, it, it did ultimately work out, because it went back up to $12. But this sort of price action, this is not normal. This is you know, what bubbles look like, where you have big swings, but within the big swings, the market does keep trending higher and higher. Big swings, but higher, higher. Big swings, but price keeps putting in lower highs, or excuse me, higher highs, lower lows, and you know, just keeps getting, or excuse me, higher lows and higher highs. There we go. And this is what's gonna, I mean, people just keep making money because of this bizarre price action within the context of our overall bubble. And then you have just this overconfidence growing and growing. And of course, people are gonna think, well, no, it's gonna keep on going. I mean, it, it, it made runs of 433% and 200%. It's only quote unquote up 55% right now from its previous lows. So it's, it's got room to go, it's gonna keep on going. And then this is where you always need to be, and I see it all the time, and I like to just call it the prodigy illusion. What is a prodigy? Well, a prodigy is a person endowed with exceptional qualities or abilities. So you have lots of beginner traders, you have lots of new traders, and they're seeing success. And they just think, wow, I am, I am made for this. I am cut out for this. I was the same exact way. So I mean, I don't say this in a, I'm so much better than you. I said, no, I, I've been there before. But I was the same way, thinking that I was much better than what I actually was when I first got started. I'm thinking, you know what? Now, I didn't think, hey, I'm a prodigy. But I just thought, wow, I'm doing great. This, this, is, this is perfect for me. I am doing so well. So society says, be positive, you know, stay happy. Don't let the negativity or drama of the world get you down. Smile. And of course, you know, the video that I offered up, the warning, not that I was a jerk about it in the video, but yes, implying or suggesting that maybe somebody's success has come from luck rather than skill. Yeah, that, that's not gonna be taken in the most happy light. That's not gonna be taken necessarily positive. Now, whether or not it's the truth remains to be seen. But point being, I can see why, I can understand why that video didn't get so much love. I mean, why it had some of the worst uh, you know, uh, ratings that I've had as far as that, that uh, 70%, because, well, yeah, it, it was coming across as being pretty negative. But experienced traders say, and this is the first lesson, you should always be wanting this. You should always be looking for somebody to smack you across the face and say, hey, should I be, do I need to wake up a little bit? Is my success, is my really anything, is this in the right place or is there maybe some luck here? Is there maybe some uh, delusions that are occurring that are setting me up, that are giving me false expectations? And once again, when I got started, I had all sorts of false expectations, but that's what experienced traders say is, no, 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 I'm not gonna sit here and say, oh, you're being negative. I'm gonna say, oh, okay, you're being realistic. Please be realistic with me. Please tell me from your past experiences. So. A slap across the face is actually a good thing. Now, is it a pleasant thing? Can it be a little rough around the edges? Sure, but sometimes that's what you need to hear. You need to hear, and in this case, people needed to hear, you know what, maybe you're just making money because of the bubble, not because there's any actual skill. And then the markets, they really are just such a cruel place. So after I did that video, the price of ACB ended up doing that. Went up to $9.96, which created another move of 28.5%. So of course, dear haters, naysayers, negative, and jealous people, which was essentially me, hey, I told you so, Clay. You did that video, and now look where it's at. It moved up another $2, it's up another 28.5%. I told you, you're just being negative, you're just jealous. So hey, you know what, let's buy some more. The Clay guy's an idiot, no idea what he's talking about, and not just me, but anybody that was suggesting that maybe there's not much skill involved here, but just a whole lot of luck. Those people are just jealous, and you know what, we told them so. We told them so that this is the next big thing, so I'm buying more. I mean, it's gone up another 24.5%, I'm buying more. So let's see how the rest of this story has played out up to present day. So eventually though, the bubble did indeed pop. I realize that's a balloon, but 
humor me. Pretend that's a bubble. So really the, the, the part here is a lot of people get confused and they think buy the breakout and wait is a skill. Because you know, as you saw there, the price went from 775 up to 995. So buy the breakout and then you just wait. But why not? It's worked before. Think back to that evolution of overconfidence, those big old swings. This strategy has worked time and time again. But is it actually a skill? No, it's not. Within the context of a bubble, sure, it can make you money. But a true skill, no. So let's just see how this all played out. And like I said, you can see there dipped, another dipped, and then keeps on going down. And we got another dip, bounces again, but way down, way down, way down again. And it just continues to drift lower and lower. And as of the time of this video, the price is now at $2.19, which equates to a loss of 71.7%. The bubble has popped, skills are now required. I'm not saying you couldn't make money on it, because there is plenty of ways that you could on the way down. However, as far as just, just hey, buy the breakout and wait. To think, remember, people, to you know people were buying at 9.95 using the logic of, oh wow, it's broken out again. I'm buying more, or I'm adding, or I'm gonna get back in. And then they just wait, because every other time they've waited, it's come back up. But now it's dropped, think about it. Some people may very well be holding through a 71.7% loss. Here we have another one, CGC, one of those popular ones that, again, was in that warning video. So in this situation, the warning video was done when it was at 47.8%. And then this happened, which is truly, again, the cruelty of the market. The market pulled back, and then of course you see what happened, the price actually went back up. So it's one of those, see, I told you so, buy the dip, buy the dip. But again, once the bubble has popped, this quote unquote skill was no longer valid. The, the, the faulty skill being, hey, you just buy the dip and wait. Buy the dip just means when the price goes down, you buy. And in this situation, they could have bought and waited, and hey, it went back up to 58 or $51.80. And who knows, you could have had one of those situations where now people are buying the breakout and maybe getting bought up there. But in this situation, a skill out there that breeds overconfidence that I see all the time from new people is, hey, you just buy the dip and wait because the price always comes back up. But no, that's not actually a skill. There is more to trading than just that. So let's see how this one played out. And you can see that it dipped again. So think about it. Somebody could have bought that dip. They bought that dip, bought that dip, bought that dip right there, bought that dip, bought that dip. And this thing just obviously keeps on dipping and a slight little bounce as of right now, but it's at $19.73 for a loss of 58.4%. The bubble is popped. Skill is required. Once again, I'm not saying you couldn't have made money when the price was going down there, but when skill is actually needed, you know, it, yeah, it's not quite as easy as, hey, buy the dip and wait. Because if you think about that, that thing has had a lot of dips, dips since then and has just continued to go further and further down. Here we have TLRY, a crazy one. The chart looks a little bit different. Those are actually called candlesticks, but uh, I wanted to get a certain price up there and you need to use candlesticks for that. But the idea here is, again, did the warning video at $80. And for this one, it wasn't a matter of, hey, the bubble might pop. On this one, the price essentially had. However, there's something else out there that a lot of people confuse. Now, there was no bubble pop, like I said, because it had already happened. But the skill becomes, hey, I'm using this logic. The price used to be, and then you insert some much higher price, it's a bargain right now at, and then you insert a much lower price, right? Hey, I can't, wow, this used to be trading for that high, but now it's only for this price. And in this situation, it had hit a high of $300. And at the point of the video, I still wanted to include this one because I, I, I know people uh, were using this logic and I could see people using logic, wow, it used to be at $300, but now it's only at $80? Hey, that, that, that's, that's, my, that's, that's a great way to go about it. You just find situations like this where the price was essentially way higher, now it's way lower, and then you just get in. But no, that's not actually a skill. Now, could it be part of a trading plan? Sure, but that in and of itself, th that's not how you make money. That's not how it works. And sure, there's been bounces along the way, but let's see how this one ultimately played out. And you can see that it went sideways a little bit, then started to drop, went sideways, started to drift downwards again. Slight little bounce before dropping and then dropping more little bounce and then dropping even more and then just dropping that much more for a current price as of this video at $17.16, which is a loss of 78.6%. So think about it. This thing was at $300. So I mean, if you do the calculation from $300, I mean, that's over a 90% loss. 
But even at from $80, the warning, hey, just realize that just because something is much lower than where it was doesn't mean that it, that automatically makes it a great deal. That automatically makes it a bargain price. You got to keep in mind, yes, I realize on this one in particular, the bubble has popped. In fact, I, I would probably argue this was the leading indicator that the marijuana stocks were going to see continued pullback because the bubble had already popped on this one. So, you know, for those that actually recognize this, this was kind of the, 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 the flag wave and saying, hey, take note. But think about that. Even though it had already gone from 300 down to 80, once again, I'm not calling anybody stupid. I can see the logic. Wow, used to be at 300. Now it's at 80. I'm, I'm, I'm buying. This is a great deal. Now at $17. Crazy. And then the final one here, C-R-O-N. In this situation, did the warning video at 21. And then it broke to new highs and went up to that level at 24. So you get, see, I told you so, Clay. You did that, you were warning me, you were suggesting that maybe it's not skill, maybe it's just luck at 21, and now it just broke out to 52 week highs, meaning you know the, the highest it's been all year long. So I told you so, Clay. And then of course, once again, the bubble popped after that, very soon after. And the skill here that a lot of people use, that's you know not, a, it, it can make you money, and then people think that it is actually a skill, is trade the trend, buy 52 week high breakouts, and then of course just wait. And why wait? Well, because waiting every single other time before has worked. So again, all logical. Why wouldn't it work this time? Why wouldn't buying the breakout? I mean, it's trending upwards. It just went to a yearly high. Why wouldn't it work? So buy the breakout and wait. But no, there is more to trading than that. If, that, if you think that that is the only skill you need is to go with the trend, buy a 52-week high breakout and just wait, I'm not saying it can't work, it, it will work every, it may work more, more, most times, but all it takes is one time like this where you wait and wait, and as you wait, the price just continues to low, go lower and lower. Sure, there's been little bounces along the way to offer up some false hope, but over time, it just continues to sink further and further and further to the downside. Whereas of right now, the recording of this video, $6.67 for a loss of 68.2%. One skill is required, yeah, it, it takes a little bit more than just simply buying a, 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 a yearly breakout or the, you know, the highest of that year and then just waiting for it to come back up because yeah, sure, it's always come back up before, but what about the time when it doesn't happen because the bubble has popped? Well, then all of a sudden, you've essentially given back all your gains, if not all your gains, and then plus, now you're actually losing money from your core principle. So the key question really is this. And once again, I, I, I hopefully nobody's gonna say, well, Clay, you're just still a hater because that's why I wanted to offer up some actual proof that I'm not just throwing this out in theory. This stuff has actually happened. And you know, the marijuana stocks was just one bubble. There's been plenty of other bubbles before. But yeah, that's the key question is, if you're making money, are you sure that you know, the, 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 the quote unquote skill, are you sure that your strategy is actually a skill or maybe is it just some luck? It very well may be luck. It, maybe it is a skill. I'm not saying it's not. All I'm saying is that be very careful of overconfidence because people become way too overconfident in their luck. Now, of course, they don't sit there, why, I'm so lucky, I'm gonna keep going. Now, of course, the human mind tells them it's a skill, but be very careful. Are you sure? that you're making money? Are you sure that your strategy, are you sure that your system is producing results because it's a skill or is it just maybe you're getting lucky? And that's really the key question that you need to reflect on because I assure you, as I've shown, eventually the luck will run out and skill will be required. But if you're still applying a, 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 what you think to be a skill, after the luck is run out, as you saw, things can get very, very, very nasty. And then as also I'd, I'd encourage you uh, to look into my trading community. Now I get it. Oh, this all was so you could sell as pitch your community. Okay, if me ending at something that costs $99 is some sort of massive sales pitch, then fine. I mean, like I said, I, I've given the proof and that's okay. But the point here is if you go there and join, this is gonna give you access to experienced traders. This is gonna give you access to those people that can smack you across the face and say, hey, you know, I get it that you're making money right now, but have you considered that you have this, that, the other flaw in your strategy that can eventually come up and bite you once the luck runs out? You know, if you change this, that, and the other, hey, now your strategy is becoming more of a skill. That's why I'd encourage you to join the community that I offer. But you know what? Even if you maybe were thinking about joining another community out there, then go join that one. That's fine. 
you know, so it's not just you have to join me because everything else is garbage. I'm not saying that at all. If you feel more comfortable with something else, then go join it. That's fine. I just want you to consider that, you know what, surrounding yourself with other quality traders, surrounding yourself with experienced traders that can maybe help point out and answer the question, oh yeah, you are, you are get, with all due respect, you are probably getting lucky in that regard because this, that, and the other don't quite make sense. So I wouldn't quite call this a skill yet. And that's what, that's one of the powers. A lot of people are like, oh, well, I joined a community and they're gonna tell me, you know, you know, hot stocks. And I mean, trade alerts and all that, that's part of it, but there's also a big part where you can hold yourself accountable and try to figure out, I don't, I don't know, am I setting myself up for failure? Am I getting false expectations? Because I have had success, but I, I'm not quite sure. Is this real success or is this kind of the false hope type, lucky type success? And that's where the community can really help you out. So hopefully you enjoyed the video and you know, I'm not trying to kick anybody. If you lost money on marijuana stocks, I'm not trying to kick you when I'm down, when you're down. I mean, I've been there before. My point here is just, you know, there is a, a fine line where overconfidence grows. Overconfidence grows some more. And then all of a sudden, things get really nasty. And I wanted to offer up proof that, yeah, this is one of the most more recent things that have happened from a, a big bubble perspective where things have just taken a turn for the worst and really just continue to get that much worse. So I, I do hope though that marijuana stocks bounce back up because I, I know there's people out there who's probably still holding them. So I really do hope they, they give some sort of big bounce so people can you know get out with minimal losses and uh, you know then kind of start new. Uh, so hopefully that'll happen and only time will tell in that regard. But if you did enjoy this video, few things, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also in the comment section, uh, be honest, I'm not gonna judge you, I, I would commend you. Were you somebody that lost money in the marijuana stocks? I think it would be a, a very beneficial thing to see so that others can witness, oh yeah, wow, look at these people that, that did fall. I mean, were you using one of these skills? Maybe you were buying the dip and waiting. Maybe you were just buying breakouts and then you would wait. Maybe you did something where, hey, wow, it used to be that high and now it's only this price and now you've gotten burned. So please, in the comment section, share your experiences. I'm certainly not gonna judge you because I've been there. Any experienced trader would never judge you because we've all done stupid things. We've all fallen into some of these traps. So it's not a matter of judging you. It's just a matter of really inspiring, motivating other people that, hey, you're not alone. And also for brand new people serving as a warner saying, yeah, this video is true because I did this one and I ended up losing. So any experiences that you're willing to share in the comment section, I think would be greatly, uh, would not think, I know would be greatly appreciated and I think would go a long way in kind of just helping other people out that maybe do read through the comment section. But if nothing else, if you don't feel like typing up anything, but you did enjoy the video, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and go, if you're looking for a community, if you wanna surround yourself with other quality traders, I hope you consider uh, my community, which again, you can go to claytrader.com forward slash team. But thanks for hanging out. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.